Welcome to the mouthpiece. Today we're going to talk about Daniel's eh, failure to sell his truck that he won in 2004 on eBay. We're going to also talk about uh, my battle for the season pass in the Bahamas where I'll be next week teaching. And also my hand of the week. Also my pick on the big game. Coming up next on the mouthpiece. that Daniel Negrano, my good friend, tried to sell his truck on eBay that he won in the 2004 Best All-Around Points Championship. Unfortunately for him, he couldn't even get blue book value of 21000 Daniel, where's the love, baby? I'll give you 21100 for you only because I love you. For all you out there that didn't bid on it more than that, shame on you. Daniel's a great guy. They should have got at least 21500 Daniel, mwah. Also, the battle for the season pass is next week in the Bahamas where I'll be teaching a poker course for the World Poker Tour. Uh, me and a lot of other poker professionals are going down to the Bahamas, and the winner of the f final tournament will get a battle for a season pass of every WP tournament that is played the following year. I plan on winning the tournament as, long as, teach as well as teaching the tournament, and hopefully a lot of people will be able to learn a little bit why I'm down there. There won't be no mouthpiece next week because I will be down in the Bahamas teaching this course. My hand of the week comes to you from FullTiltPoker.com. Pro Player Energy, Drink Pro Player if you want to get focused, and Skin Industries t-shirts, www.skinindustries.com if you want some cool shirts. My hand of the week, it comes from Deuce to Seven, No Limit Single Draw. For all of you out there, Deuce to Seven is the best hand. It is a very, very pure poker game where position is very important. A hand came up where uh, a guy who was on tilt and really playing a lot of pots, his name was, Ant, I don't want to say it because I love him so much, Raised the pot. He has been raising and taking a lot of two draws, and everybody knows in single draw you only want to take one. But I decided to call him with the deuce three six on the button. Sean Chicone, Sheiky Sheik, called out of the small blind, and the three of and he took one, and and uh, David, uh, I said his name, and the other gentleman took one. I decided to take two. I had deuce three six. Well, lo and behold, I caught a four and an eight for an eight six perfect. I knew that Sean Chacon was not drawing that good because he didn't re-raise pre-draw. Pre At this particular time, Sean let out for 4,000, in which the other gentleman called 4,000. I raised it 11,300 more all in, and Sean Chacon called me with an 876 because he is a sucker. Thank you, Sean. That's my hand of the week. That's right. You always say I give the bad beat hands of the week. That was a $36,000 pot. That's my hand of the week on the mouthpiece. Okay, everybody. Here's my prediction. The big game tonight, the Green Bay Packers and the Dallas Cowboys. I got my money on Green Bay plus seven. I went over 51. I took the money line for 1,000. Wish me luck. I wish you all luck. I just can't see Green Bay getting a touchdown. They've won 15 out of 16 games and should have been 16 out of 16. Okay, another day, another time. Light up the phone calls. I hope I get a lot today. Let's hear them. Welcome to the mouthpiece. It's Mike. Mikey. What's up, buddy? What's up, brother? What are you doing? Who's this? This is Matt. Matt. Matt from where? Matt from Chicago, Illinois. Hey, man. How you doing, buddy? Good. I just wanted to... Uh... I just wanted to tell you how bad you played those kings against uh, Phil Helmy's at High Stakes Poker. Well, thank you so much. I appreciate it. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, did you put him on pocket queens or pocket jacks there or what? Uh, I had him on do seven or two queens, and uh, I just decided that I didn't want to go broke on the second hand of the season uh, four and because uh, I was only on one buy-in, and he knew I was on one buy-in, so he took advantage of it. But I ended up making big money on the show, so, you know, I'm, I'm happy with my lay down. Yeah, I, uh, <clears throat> I realize what you, I totally agree with what you're saying when you said uh, on the river when uh, you're like, Helmut doesn't put it in unless he's got the goods, you know? Yeah, so, he don't like the big bet bluff. So, yeah. But, you know, and, uh, if, if I would have had two bullets, I would have insta-called him. But, you know, hey, it happens. Well, it was such a good turn card, or a good river card. Wasn't it like a six or something compared to the board? Yeah, uh, I, I hadn't made up my mind. Uh, I, when I caught 17,000 on the turn, I, I was pretty sure Phil would shut it down unless he, he had it because I know how Phil plays. 
So, you know, yeah. it's no big deal. Uh, my last question is, how many times have you made out with Shauna Hyatt? I wish uh, zero. <laughs> She's married, just had a baby. Take care, man. Thanks for the call. I'd rather see you. Welcome to the mouthpiece. It's Mike. Hey, Mike. How you doing? Hey, buddy. How you doing? Who's this? Uh, this is Ryan from uh, Alberta, Canada. Hey, Ryan. How you doing, buddy? I'm doing great. Long-time oh. listener, uh, first-time caller, I guess. Beautiful, beautiful. But, uh, um, yeah, I just uh, noticed on the boot camp website there that they're promoting your name is uh, coming out there for the for next week. Uh, yeah, I'll be out in the Bahamas next week uh, for the uh, nice. Battle for the Season Pass. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to be there, too. Oh, uh, really? Yeah, right. it would be nice to see you down there. But uh, I guess my question is, um, given I'm going to be down there, what uh, – trying to improve my game, I guess. Uh, who would be probably the best uh, people to be trying to talk to to help me with that well, as kind of a novice to intermediate player? Well, I mean, there's going to be a lot of players down there. Um, you know, there, you'll be able to ask questions to everybody. Uh, this is going to be pretty much the first one I'm doing, so I'm as new to it as you are. Uh, but it looks okay. like it's going to be fun, and uh, it's going to be more like a vacation for me, and uh, we'll have a lot of fun. Oh, yeah, it'll be a good time. Yeah, absolutely. For sure, for sure. So I'm looking, you know, it'll be oh. fun. Uh, make sure you come up to me and tell me you called me on the show, and I'll know who you are, and I'll try and give you some pointers. Oh, yeah, sure. I'll, uh, I'll come find you there then. Yeah. That was uh, and, uh, pretty much my only question, just kind of looking for some, just trying to want to make the most of my experience and uh, try to learn the most while I'm down there. Absolutely, man. You just come up to me, we'll chat, I'll try and give you the most pointers I can, and, uh, hey, we'll go from there, man. Sounds good. All right, I look forward to seeing you. All right. Take care. Thanks for All the right, call. All right. Thanks a lot, Mike. You got it. All right. Happy night. Bye. Welcome to the mouthpiece. It's Mike. Hey, Mike. How's it going? What's up, buddy? How you doing? Good. It's Dave from Huntington Beach. Hey, Dave. How you doing, buddy? Uh, good and bad. Well, uh, good and bad. What's the good? Yeah. Hey, listen. You know, if you just indulge me for a minute, I got, uh, you know, I called you a few weeks back at talking to you about, you know, the corruption with the absolute poker and whatnot. Right. I just, uh, you know, I'm, I'm having a hard time really, really trusting these sites now, and, and, uh, I, and I'll tell you right. why. If, like I said, if you just indulge me just for a minute, like, and this is just one of, I seem to be a bubble boy recently, uh, uh, and every every tournament that I play that has an overlay, um, I tend to bust out like right before the money, or you know, uh, very close to it, or, or at the very you know bottom of the money. And, and you know, going in with a good chip lead, and then all of a sudden I'll run into some big hands and just end up losing some Welcome incredible to my world, man. <laughs> at beats. And, and, you know, and like I say, I see, you know, it's you know just, I, I'm just getting, I'm having a really hard time trusting it. Well, you know, it's and, unfortunate, and uh, all of us, you know, were, were sick when that came down because of the fact that we all felt it was one of the worst things to happen to online poker for everybody because, you know, uh, now every body time somebody loses a pot, they think they're getting cheated. And uh, yeah, exactly. And I don't, I don't want to be that way, you know. But it's just, I sometimes feel the same you... way. But you know, you just got to let it go and uh, and uh, believe that the site that, that that everything's on the up and up. And uh, I believe it's all on the square. I joke around a lot and say, oh, it's rigged or whatever. But you know, I don't believe it is. I just, you know, you just, uh, it's very streaky, and um, you know, it is what it is, and. You just got to deal with it. I, I, uh, I don't think anything's going on. I've never really, I very seldom see really much fishy stuff. I mean, except for the fact that I get rivered every hand, but you know that's what it yeah, is. Yeah, well, me too. No, especially recently, and this, and it just seems that it ha seems to happen more to me in tournaments where there's overlays. Mm -hmm. And I'm talking huge beats, Mike. When I flopped the king at the World Series final table in 05, it come two running hearts, cost me seven and a half million. So. Nothing could be worse than that beat. It's just poker, and you just got to deal with it, and you'll be all right. Right. Well, I figure you can feel for me more than anybody. No one runs say, worse than anybody so, online, so you're 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 talking a you're barking up the wrong tree. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> yeah. It is what it is. Yeah. Thanks for the call, yeah, man. I, I know, appreciate man. it. Call me anytime. I just I, I I need the van. I appreciate it, Mike. And like I said before, I'm a huge fan of yours, and uh, keep up the good work, man. Thanks, man. Call me anytime. I'm looking buddy. forward to your book. I really am. I'm, yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm definitely looking forward to that. Thanks so much. All take right, care, take buddy. care. Later. Later. Welcome to the mouthpieces, Mike. Hey, what's up, Mike? It's Blake from Los Angeles. 
Blake from Los Angeles. What's up, buddy? Hey, what's up? Uh, I was wondering, where's one of your favorite places to play with here in Vegas? I turned 21 soon and I'm heading into town. Uh, what limits you play? Uh, pretty small, like 2-4, no limit. Uh, you could play anywhere. The Wind, Bellagio, Mirage. Uh, probably for a 2-4, no limit game, uh, I'd probably say The Wind or Mirage. Are there poker rooms pretty big over there? Yeah, yeah, they're they're all really, you'll always get a good game in either one of those places. Gotcha, gotcha. How's the, how's the catch game been treating this week? Uh, I never win, but uh, things are all right. I've been playing some live, and uh, the only thing I win out is football. And I never won a football in my life. <laughs> <laughs> gotcha, gotcha. You been at the big game at all lately? What's that? You been at the big game at all lately? Over no, I've been playing live. I've been playing some uh, four eight hundred mix, and I played a little bit two four hundred no limit deuce to seven for about ten fifteen hours the other day, and. Uh, was stuck like fifty thousand and ended up losing like eight thousand, so no big deal. But uh, I'm uh, just trying to get into playing a little bit more live. Gotcha. And um, one more question: I was watching the high stakes poker episode that just came out, and they showed the last part that Jamie Gold was there. Right. Did you just think he had some pretty bad setups, or were they some pretty bad calls? I didn't really watch it much. I mean. Uh, the only hand I really watched on that show was when uh, the producer told me to watch the hand when he had kings and, and Sammy had aces, and that was one of the ugliest hands I ever saw played. But uh, other than yeah. that, I really haven't watched much, but uh, I heard it wasn't pretty. Yeah, it was, it was pretty bad. Do you, did you think that uh, Sammy should have bet the river? Do you think he was actually scared? It was the or easiest what? bet in the world on the river. He might as well turn his hand face up. Yeah. So, you know. <laughs> it's all right. I you know, well, it's, uh, uh, it, uh, I don't know if he talked him out of the bed or what. I don't know what happened there, but it was kind of weird. You got your next one. All right, well, I don't want to take up all your phone. No call. problem, man. Thanks know. for calling. And call anytime. All right. All right, later. That's all for all you out there. I will not be on the mouthpiece next week. I will be down in the Bahamas for the battle of the season pass. So next week will be probably the last week in a long while that we won't have a mouthpiece. So for all you out there to call today, thank you. And for all you that didn't, f*** you. Have a great time and a great day.